Somebody asked, uh, is it good to have coffee to release the trust? Usually it can be considered fine if it is one or two or three coffee per day. But usually it affects your uh, digestive system. Yeah. It reduces your digestive juice. So you may have other issues like indigestion, lack of appetite, sleeplessness issues. But your work stress is as such that you have to take. Okay. One or two cup of coffee per day can be accepted. If you are logically you are fine, physically fine. Some people do smoke to reduce the stress. So how is that? We have to in the skill. But ultimately is a Tobacco is a nerve stimulant followed by uh, deeper depressant. Even though it will give you a short term uh, stimulus for about one hour or so, but it will make you lethargic for the next four hours. It depends on us what, for that particular short duration you want to use, it's your wish, but uh, not advisable. So we are taking a substance from outside as an agent to stimulate our nervous system, usually not treatment. But more than 37 to 50 percent. But generally, I'm saying most yeah, of the people don't data stress. Statistical data says that more than 37 to 50 percent of people male smokes. Smoke. That's what. So female ratio is less in India, less than 10 percent. Every day in the papers, we see like different news about um, one day they say coffee tea, actually uh, drinking coffee and tea is good for health because. It has effects on our heart and other things. So every day it's a contradicting view. So we do get confused as to whether it is actually good or not, even related to other uh, substances. Like I think recently something came out on even whiskey, I think, that it is good. I don't know. So It ultimately depends on uh, food lobbies. If I am the owner of uh, whiskey brew uh, company, I would like to promote some research, you can say sensible research and nonsense research. Nonsense research is, in general whatever you see, statistically taking a point, they say uh, red wine is good for your heart, common uh, notion people have. For this red wine to have a good effect on the heart, you have to drink at least 5 liters per day. <laughs> So they go a little more detail on saying how to what extent you can use this. For you to have this good effect, artery clearance at the level of uh, coronary arteries, you have to take this much. For you to take this much, what other harms it will have, they won't mention. So those will come under nonsense research. Research is there, but not very. Some food lobbies from West America, they suggest more of uh, soya proteins. To Soya protein, they say. Coconut uh, oil is not good for you. Suggest there are many, many researches. But Indian authentic research shows that uh, coconut oil is good. Ghee is good. It's like avoid ghee, take more of soya. It's a Western concept. So, usually they have a reductionist approach. Okay, tell me this one particular factor which is helpful. But that is usually doesn't work for Indian population. Indian population, even, even though in marketing somebody was saying release some product, uh, West usually thinks 100 times more to think about the consumers in India. Indian consumer mindset is absolutely different. If you say Vada Pao related things will go well, but no other things. Just an conjunction, an example. small uh, picture showing what obesity there are three varieties of uh, usual way of fat accumulation you don't compare with each other <laughs> just uh, keep it in mind oh this person is like this you don't say <laughs> I know you are saying at the back of your mind so usually male shoulder will be broad and pelvis will be small Female pelvis will be broad and shoulders will be small. So usual way of fat accumulation in men is around abdomen. It is called as android obesity or apple shaped obesity. If you see an apple, compare that apple with the stomach. So that is much more dangerous than a pear shaped obesity. Pear shaped obesity is like a pear fruit. More obesity around abdomen, 
lens eyes. So there is already from there. So there is one research uh, published. They say that two group of people, some 3,000 uh, people who are thin and not doing regular physical activity, and 3,000 people who are fat and doing physical activity. They observed for about I think five years. They come to a conclusion that the people who are fat and doing regular physical activity had less chances of heart attacks compared to thin people who are not doing any physical activity. Very interesting research. It says that accept your body and work on it. So there are three varieties of the body. We we call endomorph, ectomorph, and mesomorph. Mesomorph are the people who are very muscular, muscles, bulky muscles. A body structure can be like this. Some people are very chubby, they are endomorph. Some people are skinny, they are ectomorph. Morphologically, they are like this. A body shape usually will be like this. Endomorph person cannot think of becoming ectomorph. Bulk of a person, now thin an ectomorph person wants to build the muscles. Usually can be done by a regular workup, not to the extent of mesomorph. If this will uh, it's all western uh, diet in a simple one word one sentence you can increase alkaline diet and reduce acidic diet simple you just go through what it is reduce acidic diet coffee is an acidic diet coke is an acidic diet cake is an acidic diet Burger is an acidic diet, which increases, which will take you away from the natural mechanism of work, where your st stomach and liver has to work too much to digest that particular thing. Alcohol is an acidic food. So more of alkaline towards better health. Yeah. All vegetables comes under alkaline, fruits come under alkaline. Broccoli usually have a more alkaline content, 9 to 10 this. Avocado, 9 to 10 alkaline pH. So it's far better than normal vegetables. Something like this. Both of them. So any or last questions? Are there any uh, <coughs> something like uh, we have these multivitamin tablets and all. Are there any uh, pills or tonics which help to balance the pH levels in the body? There are but uh, it depends on your ultimately diet. What you take Pill can be one pill per day. It will not be sufficient enough for covering 24 hours of... Uh, but there are pills like alkaline pills or something. Food supplements. Moving the alkaline levels. Spirulina is one which they usually use. Spirulina no. capsules. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, in association with the proper diet, mm -hmm. yes. Without proper diet, I want to take throughout the day, I want to take acidic diet and I want to take one day, one pill. It's in combination, incorporation of integration of proper diet and pill. Can be possible. So I'll teach you quickly some three techniques which you can use it in your workplace. You ready? Yes. First one I use uh, breathing technique. When you are very upset or angry, your breathing will be fast, irregular, erratic. When you are very calm, your breathing will be regular. So there is a definite correlation of emotions and the breathing. So I use a combination of technique using this particular uh, level of uh, body. I work on prana my question. I want to increase prana. What is this prana? I want to increase medically lung volume by regularizing the breathing. So increasing in lung volume is an additional resource of you, your body. As I said previously, S is equal to more P and less R stress is equal to more pressure and less resources. I want to increase one of the resources of your body that is oxygen. When you have a yawning it means that either a foot is more in the stomach where your blood is getting uh, circulated around the stomach to digest that food or they are not interested. <laughs> it has both the components of physical or psychological. It also says that as subconscious mind our oxygen uh, is lacking somewhere to do some work in our body. So usually I use a technique called as 444 breathing technique. Shall we do it? It's a small one. You can please your all 10 minutes.
Breathe out. One more time. Breathing in. Get on camera. Hold. Breathe out. Slowly release. 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 Be normal. Could you feel anything? Could you notice that when you are doing this technique, your mind is so much occupied of breathing in, breathing, breathing, breathing. breathing out that it is not able to think anything. So, one easy technique, how to control mind. So, this one easy technique we, I usually try to use in combination. 4-4-4 four, four, four breathing technique. There is one small research activities we are taking on this. Uh, headaches, sleeplessness and epilepsy. We are using this particular technique. 4-4-4 four, four, four breathing technique with Prashant Kumutra. So, I usually prescribe like a medicine. 4-4-4 four, four, four breathing technique plus Shankar Mudra, 20 times morning, 20 times evening for first one month. So second month, you are okay with this? Second month, 6 seconds breathing in, 4 seconds holding the breath, 6 seconds exhalation. 20 times morning, 20 times evening, next month. 20 times means, 1 time means breathing in, hold, breathing out is 1. Third month onwards, 6 seconds breathing in, 6 seconds holding the breath, 6 seconds exhalation continue for maybe 3 to 5 months. So what you are increasing, you are increasing the oxygen capacity of your body. Increasing inhalation lung volume means amount of breath you take in. For example, if everybody's evaluation is done, it can uh, the person who is very much athletic can come up to 320 ml of air you breathe in. For ladies, it may come up to 280, 260. 260 at this point of time. So later, after three months, if you compare, if from 260 to if it has increased to 280, there is a 20 ml of extra oxygen available for your body to cope up. Is it nice? So is there any pill which is going to do this? Usually no. There is no pill which can increase your oxygen capacity of your lung. It's an individualized workup where you either work through an athletic performance. Or you can, it's a lazy technique I call it. It's lazy technique to work on the lung volume by simply by breathing in, holding, breathing out, what I mentioned. Is it okay with you? Can you show that again? Thumbs up. Thumbs so, up. it doesn't matter left hand, right nothing, hand? Nothing, it doesn't matter. Thumbs up. Hold. Release your lower four fingers or your knuckle area. Hold it in front of your chest. So, nothing much. If somebody doesn't believe in this mudra, so I will just say that I am using some gesture to deviate your mind, to make it feel something, some tingling sensation you feel around your thumb. To feel it, I will deviate your mind. If so, so, a smoking is also a deviation of the mind. It's negative. It has its negative impact. Okay, it's something which is positive. Okay. Any question for this, you can ask. You say headache, right? It's every headache goes with this or there can be some medical reason or something for headaches? Medical reason, there are many medical reasons. Actually, they say 70 percent of headache are tension headache. TTD, TTD is tension type headache. How about migraine? Migraine, yeah. Migraine. For example, I have a migraine sometimes. Usually, migraine people will have a migraine personality where they will be taking too much. If they are working something, they will get involved so much completely. They are doing some uh, little activities, they are getting out of the parish. Is it right? Very true. So, you can ignore, but you can increase their coping skills. That's all. So, it means that they are a bit of perfectionist people, that they want to get the things right. So, what you are doing? You are increasing the sympathetic activity more. More sympathetic activity, there is a release of some chemicals called as prostaglandins and Lewis P factors, which will make the blood vessels dilated. Blood vessels dilated at the level of your brain or extracranial outside the skull and inside the skull. Let's say intracranial blood vessels and extracranial blood vessels. There will be dilatation of blood vessels. Dilatation of blood vessels cause a headache. When you have a headache, what do you do? You tie something. You want to compress the veins. Then there is a relief. Medicines, what do you prescribe? Vasograin and headset or whatever. Headset. Headset, see. <laughs> right. We prescribe is mainly for constricting the blood vessels and blocking the pain sensation which is going from the blood vessels to the brain. It is not uh, taking off the cause, it is taking off the symptom. You know, there are some medications we use for a long term, maybe 3 months. If somebody is having migraine, we will use Cytelium, 5MG, 10MG, uh, LUL, 10MG, headset, 
Uh, but ultra set is basically for the pain which is to subsidize, right? Like, you know, where if a person is having a more pain, so he goes with that ultra set. Yeah, yeah. 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 Natural resources and then taper the medications and then stop problems. Now, migraine is stress related or it's a medical disorder? It's both. Genetically, if you are predisposed to have this genetic susceptibility with the external stimulus, natural nature. How many of you have migraine? I had. So, I'll teach one more technique. You heard of a Shakuntala? Yes. 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 Shakuntala waiting for Dushanta Maharaja as the wife of a particular river which I don't remember. For medical reasons, this sitting style is called as Shakuntala Asana. Let us do it. If you see, I can cover here. Cover here. Sitting like this is called as Shakuntala Asana. No, no, do we have to cover here? I'll tell you. Medical reason, uh, head weight, somebody might be having more uh, head weight. <laughs> Normal head weight of the body is around 4.5 to 5 kg, including 1.5 kg of a brain. So you are putting off that particular head weight, that ego head weight, you can take it off. Huh? This head weight, you are keeping it on with your hands and weight is being transmitted from this to elbows. So your neck muscles will be relaxed. After this, I use a technique called as resonance bringing relaxation. So resonation, you have studied in physics, take a tuning fork in the, you know, you take it and sound resonance. So I use your body as a resonating machine to bring the relaxation. Relaxation is nothing but stimulating the other part of the nervous system, parasympathetic nervous system, deeply. So here you are using vibration of the sound. Sit like this. With your index finger, close your ears. You can see me first and then. With your little finger, close your eyes. Sorry? Yes. Close your ears. With this, close your ears. Okay. Just close your eyes. And uh, breathing in, breathing out, I use the sound of mm, sound. More resonance I want to create at the level of head. So then it goes into scientific progress saying that uh, um, uh, um. A uh, car has a more resonance at the level of diaphragm. Who has a more resonance at the level of chest? If you keep your hand on somebody's uh, back and they are talking, you can feel the vibrations of them. So more vibration at the level of chest. And, mm -hmm, more vibration at the level of head. This context, I use this technique. The 15 to 20 times, if you do this, the headache will reduce at least by 40 to 60 percent. Mm -hmm. From day one. From day one. With or without headache. <laughs> what I mean is, with or without headache, you need to practice, keep practice. You can look at my eyes now, I'll do three times. My eyes look swelling, swollen and sleepy. That is the simplest, fastest reason we can see that okay, it has its effect. At the level of blood vessel constriction. So that's the treatment for headache, usually. Medically and <coughs> take a deep breath in. Mm -hmm. Do I? 
Yes. Totally. <laughs> so, I will suggest 15 to 20 times uh, whenever you are having cigarette day. This can be done even in your working place also. So, it keeps a relaxation. You are not going to sleep. <laughs> So it's very interesting. If somebody is having severe headache, can try this doing at least 10 times. Uh, intensity of headache will reduce for sure. Uh, other things you are already having, you are having headset or some other tablets with you, you can take that. But in addition to that, not. No, I'm saying without any kind of.